Hey guys, Chef Mark here. There's a little chill in the air and I don't think there's anything better at this time of year than a big bowl of beef barley soup. So the main thing I need to get right is the beef in that. And we're gonna go with this short ribs right here. And there's a couple different versions. There's a bone-in and there's a boneless. I'm gonna have you guys grab the boneless version of this. This version here, normally served whole pieces like this and people shred them apart, but cut real nice and small when you go to eat those little pieces with the barley, it's gonna be really nice and tender and still have some moisture in it. Okay, the next thing we need to get for the dish is gonna be our barley here. And the way it starts out, it starts off nice and small like that, but as we cook it, that really rich broth is gonna soak up into that barley. It's gonna have a great starchy texture. It's gonna go fantastic with the beef. All right, the last thing I need to do is grab a great stock for our recipe here. I'm gonna grab our beef culinary stock and eat two of these. This basically is the stuff that you would put all the work in yourself and they put it in a little box here. Super big time saver. I got everything I need here, so let's go cook this. Okay, let's put this beef barley soup together. And what's real important about this is the process. We've got a lot of great ingredients here, but if we're not going through the correct process, we're gonna get a completely different result out of this. So I'll show you what I mean by that. But first we're gonna start with the beef here. So I've got our short ribs here. And if you felt like it, we can also use a, a, a boneless shoulder too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this beef and cut it into some small pieces to brown, caramelize, and get a lot more flavor. So. What I'm gonna do is I've already got some, uh, my pan heating up here on medium high and I add two tablespoons of oil to that. And I'm gonna make sure the bottom's coated a little bit. And we're simply gonna drop this on the inside and let that caramelize. We're gonna try to get all those sides brown as much as we can. Keep the temperature up on medium high so it doesn't start to steam. We really wanna get a good amount of color out of this. So we're gonna go for about 10 minutes or so to get it really nice and brown. Okay, the next step on this, when this is really nice and dark brown, we're gonna to go to the mirepoix. It's gonna be two bags of this. This is a carrots, onion, celery mix. It's gonna add a lot of flavor to this dish. But if we don't, again, caramelize this mix, it's, the end product's not gonna be as rich. So we're really gonna push this, again, another 10 minutes and let the vegetables really start to caramelize and throw off a lot of flavor. Okay, I really wanna show you what's going on down inside this pot here. I've got some caramelization of the vegetables, but if you look here, I've really got a nice browning on the bottom of this. That's where we develop a lot of that flavor on the bottom. It's really gonna make for a rich result in the end. The next step is we're gonna take our tomatoes. We add our tomatoes to this and we're gonna do again. I know this is taking some time, but it's really gonna pay off. We're gonna reduce the heat down to medium, and then we're gonna go about 10 minutes again to brown the tomatoes. Okay, let me show you these tomatoes. What you're gonna notice about them, it's almost gonna turn into like a tomato paste, and we're really gonna start to brown. It's getting a little sticky on the bottom. That's gonna pay off in the end. The next step of this, it's really easy. All we're gonna do is take the rest of our ingredients here, which is a tablespoon of chopped thyme, one and a quarter cups of barley. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of salt, and we can always check that later, but we're gonna start out with some. The pepper, it's gonna be up to you. We're gonna start with about a half a teaspoon or so. I like a little bit more, so we're gonna add a little bit more. Again, we can always check that later. And then we're gonna go with two cartons of our beef culinary stock, along with four cups of water. And then after that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this up to high and we're gonna let this come to a simmer, crank it down to low, and wait. That's the easy step. We're gonna wait for about 45 minutes. That barley's really gonna soak up that delicious juice on the bottom of this. Give us a lot of flavor. The beef's gonna get tender. It's gonna be perfect. We've let this simmer for about 45 minutes now, and that beef is really nice and tender, and the barley is puffed up and got really tender as well. Next thing we're gonna do is serve it, and we're gonna show you a little garnish here. So I'm gonna take the parsley, directly right out of the package. Leave your stems down to the one side. If you want, you can pick off the leaves off of the stems, but what I like to do is take the stems to the one side and roll this up so it's a really nice tight ball so that now when I go with my knife and make a really fine slice out of it, I don't have to chop it any more than that. All my leaves are nice and tender. The stems are tender as well, but we don't want all stems in there, so we leave the stems to the one side and we just discard that, and then we just have our leaves ready to go. And now to ladle it in the bowl, 
And what I've done here is throughout the process, I've skimmed a little bit of that fat along the way and also checked the seasoning so that as that barley cooks, it's soaking up a seasoned liquid in there. And then all you gotta do is serve it, a little bit of parsley over the top, nice and fresh green. It's a perfect comfort food for a nice, cool winter day.